Hi, I'm Katie Mihalik, and today we're talking with Gregory Chaffee about his book, The Devil in the Diamond. Hi, Gregory. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Amazing, thanks for having me. How did this novel come to be? This is very much a quarantine novel. So the quarantine happened uh, around this time. There was a rise in anti Asian sentiment in the United States. Uh, and this just seemed apropos, it just seemed topical. The novel takes place during and right after World War II. It kind of seemed like it was mirroring society of today. Did you go into it specifically knowing what themes you wanted to explore? When I have an idea, usually one of the first thing is theme, right? So the devil in the diamond, the diamond uh, referencing a baseball field and the devil referring to any sort of prejudice or bigotry or hate. Uh, and so, you know, there was prejudice at this time, right? Even within the diamond, within the realm of sports. Um, I read an article, it was actually an academic article about how baseball acted as the, the thread, the healing factor between America and Japan after World War II. And that article really inspired me uh, to lay the grounds for what this novel became, right? Because Japan was an ally prior to World War II, an enemy during World War II, and an ally after World War II. So I thought it was super fascinating how a sport could uh, act as the healing factor between two peoples. And that is, of course, uh, represented through the main characters, the two main characters of the story, one being American and one being Japanese. Are you a big sports enthusiast? I've been an avid baseball fan. I love baseball. It's, I think it's a magical sport. I think it's a beautiful sport. Uh, at times, perhaps an unappreciated sport. America's pastime, if you will. Beyond sports, can I ask, what about the race and ethnicity elements about the book? Well, it was very palpable, especially at the time, you know, of, of sitting in quarantine during a pandemic. Uh, I saw my favorite Yankee pitcher, Masahiro Tanaka, leave the New York Yankees out of fear for his family's uh, safety. And he went back to Japan. Um, this is very much a story specifically about America and Japan, but I think it extends even further than that. Um, you know, one of the key relationships in the novel is an interracial marriage at the time when that was uh, certainly frowned upon more than it is so now. Do you still feel that something as simple as two people being from different races and married is is actually still something that we're contending with today in, as a country? I'm pretty sure it is, right? Me, for instance, you know, I'm, I guess you can say I am of mixed race of being Italian on my father's side and Hispanic on my mother's side. So anytime you sort of witness a, you know, a, a cultural blend smash up against uh, one another, there's certainly a story there and one worth, one worth exploring and writing. And sometimes it's, it's not so easy. Very honest answer. Thank you. Gregory, thank you so much for speaking with us today. Of course. Thank you so much for having me. Look for Gregory Choppy's new book, The Devil and the Diamond, at henrygraypublishing.com or ask for it at your favorite neighborhood bookstore.